Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a showcase here. This is Croc WJK, and I'll have Pastor Dane, the owner, explain why. Why do you call it Croc WJK? So the name came from my boys. I actually got the Jeep to teach them how to drive, but um, they said it's Croc because it's green and it looks mean. I'm like, okay, so yeah, Croc. And then the WJK because it's a WJ sitting on JK axles. With the JK axles, this can obviously handle, you know, 35s pretty well. And what gearing do you have in them? Uh, 456. 456, and they're locked as well, right? They are locked, yes. They are front and rear? Front and rear electronic lockers. And you have the switches inside the okay so we'll show that later but first let's go around the outside and see what he has from the front as you can tell you have a stubby bumper so what is this from uh that is bash's street sweeper from hk off-road and that's a really known brand for really good products as well and yeah i mean you can see it the welds are really good it looks beefy it, you know yeah no i um i was actually out on rattlesnake one day and threw my transfer case out and so um i actually had to get towed out about 10 miles out of trail and we didn't have yeah the kinetic energy rope so we had just a straight rope harness and it pulled and tugged and i mean <laughs> the bumper it was definitely a test on the bumper yeah and not only the bumper the frame as well because it connects to it yeah. so that's really good to know about hk off-road yeah, so and real solid man real solid and that's not the only hk off-road part you have no. let's show them what else you have so the sliders rock sliders are actually from inland jeep but I call them my pivot points, but it's just a step right here. HK, Bash put that on for me uh, before we hit um, Red Rock Canyon one trip. And I'm so glad I put it on because I used a couple rocks for pivot points. Yeah, and There's still evidence on the sliders. Themselves. They're all scratched up. Yeah, and it's good to have the extra. If you look at it from the side, it sticks out more than the door. So if you buy a boulder, it's going to hit this before it hits the doors or the rocker panels. If you don't have rock sliders. Uh, I'm running the uh, Clayton six inch long arm with the king uh, i think they're the 2.0s uh, adjustable shocks and did you get them tuned for the jeep or how does that work uh they were already tuned when i got them um they actually came from my buddy at inland jeep sean there and they were going to go into his rig but he changed his build so he said oh, hey dan i got wow. these king shocks i'm like dude there's like a six month wait period he said don't <laughs> worry he says come down and take these and you got hooked so up I, I got hooked up yeah, yeah. So a lot of this Jeep was built at Inland Jeep, correct? Inland Jeep, yes. Yeah, and they do amazing work. And I'm gonna show you something that I thought was really cool, which is the cut here. So this is a common cut that people do that follow the body line. Some people go a little bit higher, but inside under here, it's kind of hard to see. So right here, I'm showing the fender, how it's cut in well, and it's all insulated. So no water is gonna get inside the Jeep. We move on to talk about the bumper. So the bumper is an EAG amazon special bumper but it is reinforced and it is cut to look more like the trail forge bumper uh, the audio got messed up around here so uh for the next minute or so it's gonna be me talking and here we talk about the hk off-road and the tire carrier goes with the shape of the jeep he also explains that he believes it fits up to a 37 inch tire it is reinforced throughout the inside of the tailgate so that's how it holds the wheel and also something to note about that is i see a bunch of you guys talking about the struts the struts are able to push the 37 inch wheel up and hold it there no problem it is a little bit heavy when you first pull it and then about halfway a little bit less than halfway it starts using the struts to push it up and also when you close it right there you saw it slammed on me um, you don't want to let it just slam you want to actually go down slowly keep holding onto the handle or else you can get some dimples on the back of the tailgate here i am showing the underbelly so he is running a clayton six inch long arm kit front and rear and it has a belly pan too so it protects the transfer case the transmission all that under there and you do have to reroute the exhaust he is also running the maxis trepador tires he was saying that these honestly feel really good and they're not wearing out fast there's an extended brake line a new fuel line no sway bars in the back and some deviate wheels and then here he is talking about the roof rack on top that is made by inland jeep they're gonna start producing them they honestly look really good and it has an angle to the front so wind doesn't make noise with the light bar he has zero noise he explained and also inland jeep one ton steering what track bar are you running 
question. That's definitely not stock. <laughs> I wouldn't imagine it would be. I, it cool. kind of looks like Trail Forge okay. due to the the bracket, but I'm not sure. It may be inland Jeep. I mean, you just don't know. This is five years ago, so my, five brain's, years. Oh, my okay. brain's a little foggy. Yeah. And a winch up here, what do you have? What are you running? So it's a Zeke 13,000 pound. And Zeke is Chinese made. I found it on Amazon. They're not available anymore. Yeah. But so far, I have had no issues with that thing. No. It works flawlessly. And it came with the synthetic line? It, it did, but I put the Freedom winch line on it. Oh, okay. So this is yeah. from Bleepin' Jeep. Bleepin' Jeep. Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> right, yeah. So Shout uh, out to Bleepin' Jeep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he makes great content. Yeah, yeah, great, great stuff. Yeah. So um, that was uh, when he was doing special orders. I did a special order with the the nut being painted yellow, dipped yellow. Oh, okay. To match the, the lights. Yeah, and the yellow license plate. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now let's go ahead and go to the rear and see what you have back there. Oh, and also another good thing to know is this is a 4.0. It's not a V8, so and it handles really well. And a lot of things I got from you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Back here, just right away, I see a bunch of fun stuff in here. It's a mess right now. It's a, <laughs> it looks all right. Uh, so I see a compressor, ARB. 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 Those are hard to get right now. I, yeah. Okay. ARB compressor. And then over there, that's a tank. Power tank. Yep. Power tank. CO2. Oh, okay. CO2. And that's just for what? So that's... Um, I take a lot of people out who have never been off-road before okay and usually I got groups of five that have never been mm -hmm. and so they don't know how, how to air down or air up and so for me it's easier just to fill up the tank air yeah. them up quick while I'm airing up my car and then airing up other cars with the ARV that makes sense yeah so, especially I mean it goes it can fill up a 37 inch tire from like 20 pounds up to I did I had to do 45 pounds or 50 pounds wow. on one of them and it did it in less than i'd say less than a minute and a half just that's that's right good up. to carry then yeah. that's really good to have yeah, and you have some oil just in case that's that is coolant just <laughs> coolant okay coolant coolant yeah. just in case i see the lines for the arv i see a jack back there the yes. med medic what is that called the medic pack the so, medic pack uh, that just basically purchased off amazon and it comes with everything that you need yeah it's always good to have especially if, while you're out outdoors you never know what can happen so yeah definitely something you should carry something fun in this jeep is the fridge, fridge. i love food so that, yes. that's my favorite thing right there yeah and you got i got three boys that are always going out with me they're always <laughs> hungry always thirsty <laughs> so i got tired of having a cooler and opening up the ice melts, melts up yeah the, so i said let's everything's just, running around in water exactly. yeah yeah it's just a mess so yeah. i said let's do the fridge so the it's the fridge is ran by an inverter in which the inverter gets turned on by that yeah. power switch and, and that turns that on the fridge is on okay and this is uh what brand is this oh uh, it's an amazon brand oh amazon ice go oh okay they're actually a really known company yeah, yeah. ice go you have a little table here as well uh fire extinguisher that's yep. very important yep very important to have one thing you're missing though where are your tools they're in the tank they're down below they're down below they are where the spare tire used to be so if you look underneath there's no tank tuck thank you for that yep. um so he has his tools down there just in case always carry tools you never know what can happen recovery gear everything's yeah. under there it just to get to it i gotta empty everything out Every, yeah but that's true that's a that's a sacrifice i'm willing to pay and this is for a roto pack right yes so what is that is that a future so, mod i've got it sitting at home but i haven't put this on the new roof rack yet oh on the roof so rack. i've got a five okay. gallon sitting at home that yeah. i use but I just haven't been able to put this on the rack yet. And what do you use it for, water or fuel? Fuel. Fuel, okay. And you got a little pet here too. Yeah, yeah this, is, uh, this is the croc. <laughs> That's the croc WJ yeah, the right croc. there. We gotta get him mounted somewhere, <laughs> but this is the croc. That's awesome, man. <laughs> that pretty much covers the rear. Uh, I think we should go under the hood. Yeah. Let's do that. And if you do get the HK tire rack, you can see it's reinforced there and down under here as well. So it's very strong. Let's see you close it. <laughs> it's not too bad. No, you do have to hold it as it's going down yeah. though, or else it'll slam. I, I, I've got some dents in the back of the hood. It's it, yeah. from that. Yeah. It's just slamming too hard. All right. I see something that I get a lot of questions about right off the bat. The Thor intake. A lot of you guys ask me about this. I am not going to run it yet. I don't know if I will, but it's a good option if you don't want to snorkel right correct yes and it brings the air box location is usually here and having that up there the level of the air filter actually goes up so you can go into a little bit deeper water and you said you had some mods done that you saw yeah, on my you, youtube you recommended so the fuel injector cover oh okay. yeah so i did that i and haven't done that yet but i'm going <laughs> so to so i did the fuel Heat injector soap. cover yep yeah. and then i did the uh the larger fuel injector i think i did the 12 gauge 
the 12 hole yeah 12 hole from yeah. the company case suspension yep case suspension yes. and then i did their uh, coil mod the viper coil mod right there i honestly think this is worth the upgrade it makes it run smoother i didn't see any miles per gallon um change but it did feel smoother at idle what do you i don't know what did you feel i don't know what miles per gallon is <laughs> you drive a jeep right <laughs> actually yeah i'm curious you have 35 456 what do you so get much weight uh my guess would be i'm getting around um i think i did it one time before <laughs> i added the roof rack and i think it was around 11 to 15 something like that and then no range, way like 11. i get 11 with 33s yeah. no i don't like believe 11. you that's a lie no it's about, it's about 11. <laughs> no i, I that's pretty good for yeah, all the the weight you that it, you have. Yeah. It's pretty good. I think it's also the way you drive too. The way you drive. So yeah. I'm not super pedal heavy. Yeah, I am. So. <laughs> I <laughs> see you do have an aluminum radiator right here. Mm -hmm. um, you guys don't know this yet, but my radiator started leaking, so that's something we're gonna look into. Um, I know it requires a couple mods to fit, but how it's, has it's that been for big, you? It's a little bit bigger. Uh, the old thermostat will make you, it'll pull a code all the time oh, okay. that the engine runs too cold. Except for when you get off road, I can run all day long with yeah. the AC on and the thermostat pegs dead center. Oh, okay. That's now good. around town, it's running cooler. It yeah. runs a lot cooler. But when you're off road, yeah. I mean, for me to be, able, to be able to run AC all the time. And for it to not overheat. And not overheat. Yeah. To and me, it's a winner. So one thing to note is these do have more lines going through the radiator than the stock one. So it's definitely going to keep your Jeep way cooler. I see a bunch of wiring here and I see another battery. Yes. Yeah. So this, <laughs> this is, this is your car battery. So this is what runs yeah. the, the whole car. Yeah. The car electricity and setup. Now this battery over here is all for the inverter and the fridge. Okay. And it is connected on yep, the side right here, right? Yep. Okay. And this connects to this battery yep. to charge up, correct? Charges up. Okay. That's... As I'm driving, this charges the the battery for the fridge up. Is this a kit you can buy, or that's? I put it together. From you put a it bunch together. Of different pieces okay. on on Amazon. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Amazon special. That's good to know. So that's something I should probably do. Yeah. So it's if a I'm kit. gonna if I plan on running other things, especially like a winch or something like that, yep. you want to have the extra power, extra right? Extra power. Yep. And so that was the other thing that was a huge selling point for the Thor was now I had space. Oh, that's true. For yeah. That I normally wouldn't have had with that's... the stock airbox there. You bring up a valid point because it gets rid of anything in that area. And you just, there's no space under the hood here. Yeah. Did I, you have it tuned since you did injectors in this? Um, or I, did, I did a little tune, okay. but I just grabbed a flash pack tuner mm -hmm. and tuned it to 91. Okay. And that was it. That was it. And it's it runs really good for, yeah. from when I was in it. Did you relocate your washer box? Yeah, you, the yes, washer? Did. the. Yeah. I forget what it's called. The fluid, the reservoir. Reservoir, Washer yeah. Reservoir. You moved it from down there. It used there, to be here. down here. Is right? this a ZJ one or no? Uh, it may be a ZJ. Yeah. Um, but it used to run down here. Yeah, it's usually in this area. Yep. So when we chop, oh, it goes away. Yeah. So it had to do something to go somewhere. So that was the reservoir for. That's, yeah, that's that's definitely a good mod to do. If you guys plan on upgrading anything on the 4.0? definitely do this the wrap it protects you from heat soak it has happened to me where the jeep wouldn't turn on after off-roading definitely something you should do the thor i know you guys ask a lot of questions um he says it's awesome and it gives you space for another battery so yeah. worth it i mean for me it's a win-win and yeah. it, it does pull in colder air it's truly a it colder actually intake. works yeah it actually works yeah i do see something you haven't done though and i'm mad at you about it and, and you should do it is upgrade to jeep cables why haven't you done that i think i think i might have bought them i might have them. i just haven't done it yet. yes jeep cables that's a that's a necessary upgrade especially if you have dual batteries the thicker wires handle more amps coming from the alternator and you can upgrade to the durango one okay and it's a bolt in you'll get more amps and with the thicker cables you'll you'll be solid i may have them i, yeah. I think they came yeah. in my kit with the uh the coil oh okay on. yeah I ordered everything when you posted that video everything you put on I was like that sounds really good <laughs> okay and i checked the prices like oh it's not bad yeah everything's pretty affordable so i was like i'll yeah. do it so I, I think i have them i just haven't put them on you yet just need to, yeah case suspension also sells a kit i'm running jeep cables um I, it sounds like you got case suspension and yeah put it yeah. in already yeah, I need to. <laughs> now let's go into the inside of the jeep and check out what he has all right a loving tap <laughs> <laughs> so right off the bat you have some nice looking seats what are these from these are from amazon and uh i had an issue with the seat tearing 
And so actually the passenger side is really bad underneath. Oh, underneath this, yeah. yeah. So um, instead of reupholstering the seats, I was like, let's find a cheaper option. So this was a cheaper option off Amazon. I like it. I'm only five, like seven and a half, yeah. maybe five, eight. <laughs> and so it lifts me up higher which yeah. makes it to where I can see things a little bit easier versus having to get out of my seat to see certain obstacles. That's true. I was sitting in this and I'm pretty tall, so my head was almost, almost touching the touchy. roof. Yeah. So this is not for taller people, but it does make the seats look way nicer for sure. And they're and comfortable. Yeah, they were. They're really plush. In here, I see a lot of buttons. Yeah, so this is something I just did, so I need to figure out a better solution. Yeah. But because that keeps coming up. But this is a uh, rough country. A switcher panel so it keeps track of all the lights and and things that are running that i need yeah. to have options to turn on and off yeah so compressor for the arb uh spot for the kc lights up front the yeah. smile lights fog lights for the kfc kc lights on the um, front bumper mm -hmm. rock lights go all the way around uh for the bar up top it's a, a low beam and then a high beam yeah that's really top. cool to have and, and where are the locker buttons that's so what lockers, matters <laughs> lockers are down here so i wanted okay. something a little bit I wanted to get it off this switch because I get I got confused. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I also yeah. had to go around the shifter to get to it. Oh, that's true. So it was yeah. a pain. So once once you're down in four high or four low, yeah, you can reach your hand in here and get it easy. So you have a front locker, rear locker, and then the trail light. Trail light, okay. Which is on the back bumper. Oh, okay. Yes. And this is night nylight yeah nylight. nylight that's off of amazon as well amazon yep okay and it comes with the usb thing yep usb and it's also got a cigarette lighter oh okay that's so. that's pretty neat switch uh switch yep. panel another great option for switch panel is the ox beam led switch panel i do have some on the website available so pick them up or you could get one of these rough country ones yeah if had i seen yours before i had this i would have probably gone with yeah. yours i like yours a little bit better the way it's it's designed oh you need to check it out how it opens yeah, it's I, I sweet. also like the one where you oh yeah on too. chris's jeep yeah. yeah so i like that this yeah. is a little cumbersome and that yeah. was my attempt to become less cumbersome but so that, that's what we aim for is something that's accessible yeah and i i like the stock look i didn't want like anything like switch panels or anything yeah. like that i wanted it hidden yeah so that's why i did mine there and he does have an led uh upgrade inside it's yep. not the Najar one, but, no, it, but it is it, <laughs> it is. is LED. It is LED. <laughs> and we did hook them up with some LEDs here. So maybe we'll see that on your Instagram. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Another cool thing that I like is this reverse camera. So it's yep. off right now, but there's a camera in the rear. What's the reason that you did this upgrade? So I did that upgrade because of the HK tire mod. So driving down the road, you can't see what's You can't really you. see, no. So, and then that has a camera. There's Chris's Jeep. Yeah. <laughs> so now I got a rearview mirror. That's really cool. That's that off works. of Amazon as well. Yep. And what's cool about this also is you can come in here and you can move it. Oh, wow. With the touch screen. So you can, if you want to see what's directly behind you below, like if you're in a rock situation and you're trying to figure that yeah. out, you can move it. Does that and record a video? It does record, oh, yep. yeah. And then you can flip. I got a front camera too. That's awesome. So, That's a really good mod. Yeah. And then you got a two, but I keep it on the rear view. Yeah. And you also have uh, an upgraded stereo here. Yeah, upgraded stereo. So this is just an Android off Amazon, yeah. 110 bucks. Yeah. Um, but most, what happens is whenever you get this, it mm -hmm. comes and it'll drop halfway between your yes. vents. Yeah. So it blocks your air. So I had to do a mod to basically self-tap the harness that was already in place oh, and yeah. lift it up. Lift it up. Yep. So grab so, some self-tapping screws. That's one thing about these Amazon radios. A lot of them are the mounting is pretty shoddy. Yeah. So it's it's really hard to get a good mount. It's better if you get like the single din that's long, so you can just clip it in. Mm -hmm. That's something I have noticed. So yep. watch out when you buy the radios. Yep. So I, that did require a yeah. mod, but do you still um, like it though? I still like it. Yeah. I mean, I've had no issues with it. It always works. It does everything mm, yeah, I need it to no do. No issues. Yeah. No issues. And so I'll plug it up to Wi-Fi. And so whenever oh you're, you're you can watch them, Netflix, or you something. can watch Netflix, you can watch um, YouTube, YouTube, you know. <laughs> so then also what you can do is like I have a trail map. Button oh, here. that's a great okay. thing to have. So then I got Gaia in here. Yeah. Once I'm on my Wi-Fi and I'm always know where I'm going. That's really good to have. And I think some of these radios, they do have a SIM card slot. Some of them do. So just make sure when you're buying one. So you can have cellular service on it and if have internet wanted. anytime. Yeah. Yeah. If you wanted, I just yeah. run the hotspot off my phone. Oh, and you have the rugged ridge. Yep. The carpet. That that came with it. The rugged oh, ridge yeah? should come with it. Yeah. These are really nice because it cups. So if you drop anything, any water, or anything, it'll go in there. Yeah, they're you just great. Dump it out. You they have it in the rear great. too. Have them in the rear too. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, the rear are here too. Oh, it's a whole panel. This thing goes yeah, all the way it goes across. All the way across. Yeah. And I did the uh, the back seat. Um, seat covers as well yeah. and since my boys are back here there's no airflow amazon 
Oh fans. yes, it's, it's hard to get airflow back yep. here. Yeah. So fans, and then I hooked it up to the cigarette lighters and they got airflow back here now. Yeah, and it brings the cool air from the front back here. Yep. And your AC works? The AC does work. <laughs> That's a must. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that pretty much covers everything. This thing is awesome. Follow him on Instagram. Uh, croc yeah. underscore WJK. And it'll be linked down below. So make sure to follow him. Keep up with his awesome Jeep and all his adventures that he does. Yeah, I gotta post more. Yeah, I gotta post it's, more. When you go out, you don't have time. It's just like <laughs> yeah. you're enjoying the trail too much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, I forget so. to get stuff going, but yeah. Anyways, that'll be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed Pastor Dane's video. <laughs> Let me my do that video. Again. Let me do that again. This is my video. It's not yours. This is my video. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in there. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for. Anyways, guys, thank you. I can't even talk. Anyways, guys, thank you for checking us out again. Yeah, this guy has it. <laughs> this is Pastor Dane's Jeep. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.